And on hits that F5 button, we will move in as we are now for the first game since ESR's return on stream. These are the winner bracket finals. This is Bang Bus versus Global. If the counter works. And there we go. We have the teams moving in. As you can see, it is global on the EU side. On the NRF side, we see Bangladesh, which means we will need this one. We have uh, the in-game overlays, which are a bit slim. As you can see, there are no links anywhere, which I would like to see updated as well, though, with a, uh, a nice intro video, which could definitely hype up uh, the people for you also more. But that's, of course, something to talk about later. We're going to jump straight in. We're gonna see what guns the players are using. Because so I see Dimako, T Rex, okay. Proto, Dimako, Lion, PGM. Ooh, ooh, I like that. See a Lion for Taz. K1A1 for Sean, interesting. PGM for Mangles 2. Perhaps with it, the Lion. Timmy's with the Stellar C. He really likes that gun. Yeah, Ron's moving over to Dimako. So, what quite strikes me is that we see a lot of Euro guns being used. Not too many red ticket guns apart from the Lion. And yeah, of course, the second slot items in the um, Proto Stellar C, which Timmy does have. Of course, the FRF2 Legend as the first shots have been fired. One player falling on either end. Looking to get into one side where Sports is defending. He's going to get stabbed by Timmy, who now secures the one side. We see Taz waiting for a rotate to catch the players off guard. Ron is there, Sean also. Timmy's watching in mid already as we see Mango shutting down Duke. Pass actually catches run off guard, but then Phil suit shoot him down. So now it's all on Sean. Finds Timmy. Off V2 situation. Mangles is full. Typhus is full as well. And Sean has to get in on long range. And Typhus won't have any issues with that. First round going to global with that. It looks like they really have to focus on the defensive plays because usually what Bangwas is used to playing against is people that are pushing really quick and that they can out aim. Global is not one of those teams, so they need to find out something new, otherwise, Cannon is going to be a very, very hard map for them. At least the NRF side. Well, Duke finds the opening frag onto Taz. That's a good start in a round for them. Global now has to see what they want to do, so let's take a look at Mangles, because he has to open up the map. But we do see most action coming over at one side, where Timmy shuts down Julio. Julio is playing close in the smoke, trying to get some kills, but unfortunately doesn't land a shot on him. Mangles meanwhile moves over, together with Timmy. Ron waits in the base. Down. Players has to get a lockdown, but Mangles will shut him down. Sports is still in. Mangles with a second kill. Now Duke. Mangles finds a third. Oh god, Mangles is now going massive. He's gotten three kills this round. And so far he's shut down most of the team. And he's going for that fourth. He wants it. We see Cyphus coming in from behind. Not granting that kill to Mangles. But a good streak for him. The second round going to global. The sound with the players stepping up. See if they're going to come up with a counter push. It seems like it. We're finally going to see some action over at the one side. Sports has to get a kill on Taz. Finds one. The second spray down on Timmy. This is good. Now they've shut down the entire team, but they now have to retreat quickly because Global knows there's only one player remaining. He's most likely going to be on that two side, but that's Duke. And Duke has the scope. Ravis wanted to go in, Cyphus moving over to the base, not gonna spot him, but Duke does find Mangles. You know where Cyphus is, Duke is gonna push him, Ooh, Julio's already found him. So now Brav has to get the bomb now, 1v3 situation, Julio's lit, Sports is lit, Duke is the only one full HP, that need though is pretty good. Brav runs away in time, on Sports. Two players remaining, one's a scope. One moves in, oh he finds Julio, but... Peeks out too far, and Duke is not gonna fail on that one. A good hold from Duke here, making sure that nobody can get into that side. Oh, did we just see the C4 defuse lag? I don't think I've seen that before. It doesn't matter though, in the end, Bangwas is going to take round number three. It looks like their push did work out. 2k from Sports running in, two kills from Duke to make sure that that two side is and stays put. And that puts them in a sweeter position. 
not coming out from Timmy. Doesn't seem to work out perfectly. Assassin now moves through. Two players defend. Has finds one. Has to run back because that name comes dangerously close. There's some shots fired with that K1A1 from Sean. As Taz now moves in. Gets flashed though in the process. One finds two. Gets needed though. In the process of doing so, but we still have sports on side. One finds a kill. Timmy with the return. Ooh, Timmy finds a second kill and now it's a 2v1. Duke is again in this situation. Gonna look for Timmy. Oh, Timmy's moved away. Where's Timmy? Uh, Timmy's gonna run away. He's gonna do that quickly, but we're gonna see a 1v1 showdown between the two players here. This could be a very important round as we look at the outcome of this match. It's currently 2-1 in favor of Global. But if Bagwas wins this one, they're definitely in a sweet position on taking this first map. Well, it's now going down. Timmy's gonna move away. Timmy knows he's gonna play aggressive. Is Duke gonna go the right way? Oh no, he doesn't! Oh, Timmy almost feels that! Doesn't line up the headshot, but in the end, does prevail. Got real close there, but very well played by Timmy. Moving out of that side, making sure that he has the time to shut down Bangbos' Duke. He does do that. That's 3-1 to one for Glow. You see the setup going around for Global most of the rounds. We spectated them for a few rounds going over to 1. This is round 5. I think in four or five rounds, they've pretty much been doing this. Just moving up to one, getting a couple of picks, and then figuring out what they want to do. Taz finds the kill on Duke. They've fit, switched actually to a double scope setup. Looks like Taz wasn't too happy playing as a rifle. Now meets up with Ron. Taz is going to push up there, finds a second this round. And one side has been shot down already. It's all on Sean in a 1v4. It's starting to look real bad now for Bangwas as Global is making it count. There's the kill for Taz. A look at the scores too. Timmy is taking the lead here, 10 to 3 with that Stellar C, averaging two kills every round so far. So we're only five rounds in. With one round remaining on attack, looks like Global has done a pretty good job securing that first map. Comes in with a lot of free bars, hits Timmy, gets on UEV though, so he has to work to 3. Duke is actually the only one holding 2 in the one round that Global decides not to go to one side. They swarm 2 side, where only Duke was waiting. He almost missed the shot on Ron. Brad finds Ron though, instead. And Timmy is still waiting in the base as he shuts down Sports. That is so unfortunate. Now only has to come in, together. With the pistol, but Cyphus will line up the 2k. 5-1 lead for Global, and it looks like they're not having too many issues so far. So they've taken a smooth lead. Now Bangbus has to come in with their EU side. They have to move very quick. That's what they usually do. But that means they need to find their picks. The scopes are not allowed to take any hits. Which is exactly what happens for now. And everyone has been shut down in 15 seconds. Now Duke is to clean up, 1v5. It's Timmy. But Taz is there, waiting for him. Three kills for Taz, two for Timmy. But this is how deadly Global is. They know how to shut them down. And they also know that it's very likely that Bangbus is going to push two side now after that. Humili- well, humiliating defeat I wouldn't call it, but massive defeat over at one side. Timmy comes in with the finals though, where he's calling out most players are in the mid, where they're gonna do. They're still gonna commit for a two, but Cyphus and Brav already there. Now pushing out. As meanwhile finds Sean, already coming in with the stab. That's all on run. Can we just tank one? Cyphus gonna go for the kill. Gonna hunt him down, but Ron's still alive. Still there, versus two scopes and appointment. He knows it's gonna be tough. And Tass gets the shot. That's a 7-1 win for Global. Much quicker than we really anticipated on, but looks like the tactics that Bangwas was going in to the game with didn't really seem to work out. So with that, we have our scores for the first map, a 7-1 win for Global out on Cannon. 
but it looks like we're now going to switch servers because Bangladesh does definitely want to play on that NA server as the second map pick is from Global. It is Black Sand, but we're going to play this over on the NA server. So let's see. And we have moved in, so here we are. Almost all the players are in. We see nine just waiting now uh, for Mangles. And that will be good to go in the NA server. This actually could play in the card still of Global. Because they do have one NA player on their team. This being Brev. Although on the other hand, if we look at the roster for the... Uh, well, for the NA boys, I should say. Dukes from NA. Ron. Sean. Sports. No, from NA, apart from Julio. So we see five NA players and five EU players in this room. Although mixed up a little bit. But it's nice to see the representation uh, from North American players. Which is, of course, what we do like to see in a predominantly EU section. So let's see uh, if they can step up. They've already moved in to the winner bracket finals. Which means they will be minimum, um, minimally placing third. Which means they've already secured a permanent gun and 500 EMP. Of course, they're looking for more. They're looking for that grand prize of those 100 US dollars that Breath will be providing. Let's see in the meantime if we have any other updates coming out from the loser bracket semi-finals or the lower bracket semi-finals, you like to call it. Let's see who won that match. Yeah, it looks like Core 7 and Nern Meagles are still playing. Do we have scores minute? No, we do not have yet. They are playing India Cannon and Hammerglow. Given they started about an hour ago, they this should be in their second map or queuing up for the third map. So, looks like they'll be done around the time that the winner bracket finals have been completed, given it ends in two games. But we're gonna move in now. Let's see if Bangbus can come back. Earth Global is gonna secure it in two. We have Bangbus here on the EU side with Duke, Julio, Ron Tally, Sean, and Sports. And our side Global with Brev, Timmy, Taz, Cypress, and Mangos. Here we see the in-game view. We see a couple of changes. Breath playing with the SKS, an AR-57 and an AKS-74 Draco for Sports, a Molson for Duke, M19, still PGM, Timmy's with the same, Sean switched over to the MP7 as well. I'm curious to see how that SKS is going to come into play. That throws a nade, sees nobody is there, Timmy's already retreating and Sports moving in quickly. Trying to get that kill on Mangles. And his defender's side finds two players. Still looking for more. Misses a shot. Julio finds him. Brev moves in around the corner. Julio is still there to get him. Doesn't fail here as he gets a 3k. A massive shutdown from Julio. He's now going to retreat. Oh, Timmy catches him as he runs away. Now the bomb is down. Timmy tries to be a nuisance. Knows the bomb is there. So Taz has to come out. Duke is still in mid. Not sure what Duke is looking at. 
It means to move back in. Finds the kill on run. Now it's up to Duke. Finds the pistol on Taz. After that tank with the Mulzer. He's gonna move in. Ah, Timmy is just gonna close that door. He's he's going to be an absolute nuisance to Turtle. This could be uh, in, oh, to Duke. Sorry, this could be interesting. Oh, shot gets tanked. Is Duke gonna do this? One v two for Duke. Oh, the door closes as he saw Timmy move in. He wants to get a rifle, but he knows he has to get to the side for that. Timmy, meanwhile, has moved away. It's a very smart decision from him. <laughs> we see a flying proto. Okay. So Timmy's now going to move down mid. I has no idea that Duke has picked up this rifle. So it's all going to be a matter of who's quicker. They're looking that right way and Duke finds the kill. 1v2 clutch by him. So Julio got that 3k shot down over at one side. And that allows Bangmas to take the first round. A little bit unexpected really. As we saw as Ma how Mangos was holding down the one side. But helps a lot if one of the players step up. That really seems to be what Bangmas needs to do in order to win this match. In the meantime, there is an, oh my god, four kills from Brev as he holds it. Almost gets the ace there, but Duke is there to get that deny on him. But a very quick round for Global. Four kills for Brev, that is insane. Very unfortunate that we didn't get that. Let's take a look if we're gonna see another gen push this time. Sean wants to counter it. Timmy's already in. Doesn't really expect anyone to be there. Sean finds an opening kill. Towards a second. On Cyphus. Wants to run through. Brev is still there though. Can he have another massive lockdown here? Doesn't find the kill. On stair. He's gonna bring the bomb down. Louis also on site. Taz is around. It's a 2v2. Two sculpts versus a rifle and appointment. One's moving up. Dangerous! Taz was waiting in the corner! And Mangos finds Julio as he tries to push out as well. But the placing from Taz is absolutely stunning. There was no way that you'd expect anyone to be there. And that allows him to get that kill. Julio is pushing out, runs into Mangos. And that's round three going the global as they take the lead. Never forget though guys, this is an NRF sided map, so for Global it is really expected to take at least four rounds. So with Bangbus taking one of the first rounds of this matchup, the first actually, puts them in a good position. You only need one more in the next three rounds, then they have a good chance. You see Brev, ah uh, they've got control of two already, they're already forcing Bangbus to go to one side. Brev is very low, he's still gonna run on. A run is run actually AFK. Is it really? Yeah, this, this, this is typically Bangbus. You cannot go AFK in a winner bracket finals of an ESL match. But no, Iran's just gonna do it. They're not gonna call it a dead round. They're just gonna wait and let him stay AFK. Wow, interesting. But that does give Global the fifth round. But the fourth round, sorry, of this match anyways. So they're up 3-1. to one. Round 5 is approaching now. What Bangwitz should really do here is either just call a dead round or just play very, very defensive and give Ron the backup for when he returns. This is very peculiar though. Let's keep an eye on Duke because he is going to meet up with Cyphus in a minute. You realize that if there's anyone in there, I do not want to be carrying that C4. He's now moving it. Cyphus plays it clever. But Duke knows that if he's looking up there, might find the kill but misses a shot. Now no Cyphus is there. He will pre-fire. Should retreat. And Timmy's now coming in. A lot of flashes. I should try and get the counter by now. Spiners are out on Cyphus, but they know they can't really move in there. Pass comes, Duke finds the kill. This could be an opener. As he can now push through the freezer and move over to one side. One side has actually been left open, but Mangle's now going to move back there. Smoke comes out. Duke wanting to go with the Pinos. He comes out. Mangle's knows there's someone at freezer now. Duke has moved into the mid. Timmy meanwhile finds Ron. Oh, Duke gets Mangos there. Very well played, but Timmy again with the shutdown. Now Sports has to run away, still gets the kill onto Timmy. That's huge, because he keeps the bomb in possession. 
Polio, Narkill on the Brav. That puts Cyphers in a 1v3 situation. Magmas has taken a really nice approach into this next round. Because they're most likely going to get their second on the board on the EU side, which is the minimum they need to take. If they also take the next round, they suddenly put themselves in a very good perspective of moving this into a third map. You know, forget, we still have Cyphers. Finds Julio. Ah, but Sports is already waiting. Very well played by Bangles. They do put that round on the board and they're going to make this an interesting one, guys. This is definitely going to be a very close match. Three-man push. Spots one. Timmy gets the knee kill onto Julio. What a shutdown coming in from Global. There's just no way you're going to take that generator. And yeah, Timmy, with that nade spot, you just don't even want to go there. The pressure that they have on the generator is literally stunning. And now Sean has to watch out for, ever, for anyone coming behind. Could get two kills here. As Otas oh, is going to move in, but Sean's not looking the right direction. Turn around, Sean! Ah, Tess spots him. He gets the kill. They don't know. Now they know where Duke is. Find Cyphers. Try and move up. Mangle was already waiting, but Timmy already pushed Duke out. Four rounds for Global, two for Bangbus. But in the end, both teams have secured their benchmark. So nothing gained, nothing lost yet. But the next two rounds are going to be interesting. Because Bangbus will want to get two of them. At minimum, one. It comes out, this is right into the spot where Sean was hanging out. Instead, Cypher's getting made with well, one of the Bangbus needs. Let's, hear him, but let's take a look at Mangles because he's going to meet up with Duke in a minute. Well, I'll peek out. Ah, but Duke finds that kill. We're waiting for him. Timmy's already on two side. Cypher's actually just running behind them, but Sean denies that, gets two kills, and he's completely secured that two side. I made sure that that is clear. Global now, forced to go over to one. Ref runs through. As was waiting in the corner, pistol fights, gonna lose that against Duke. Now Brev knows he's in trouble. See Sean. Let's need it. Aaron is there to shut him down. A good setup, not allowing Breath to do anything, and with that round immediately going to Bangbus, we slowly see the score creep up onto one another. This looks like Bangbus wants to do... Ooh, they are actually not going for a generator contest, but neither is Global at this point. That's very interesting, and quite peculiar again. As we saw so much heavy control of the generator before, but now the teams have swapped sides, we suddenly don't see it at all. It's usually something that you would see in the global and Andromeda eras, for the Jan control was uh, well, was pretty much a race, who could get there first. Ah, oh, Taz spots Duke there in the little corner, there was no way he was not going to get that shot in. Now one side is open, Sports is looking the generator, but Taz with the finals on the Sean. Gonna let Ooh, Sports found Timmy. I don't think they know where he's at. Cyphers has gotten onto the side. Nobody is stabbing either, so that works in the favor of Global. Okay, found one. I'll find a second. There's Sean. One player still in mid. 3v2. Now moving down. Right behind him. A lot of damage being dealt. Could flash. Sports only one bullet. Knows he doesn't have time for this. And he's not gonna get that kill either. Round 8 goes to Global. Just when Bangbus starts to get a little bit closer, Global's going to take another round. The next two rounds really need to go to Bangbus. Otherwise, they will be at match point, at least match point against him. In. I don't spot anyone so far. That's actually a good call out uh, in the chat. And we have not Sean on his main account, so it seems to be Russell, which is another player. It's not the actual Sean. That does explain why Sean is not playing with a sniper. I didn't even realize that, so uh, good to spot that. Let's see. I mean, 
Ponyma finds Taz. Is it gonna look back into the vent where Timmy is waiting? And so far, started off well for Bangbus. They still have the advantage, but both players are over at two side. Do they know they've got bomb though? And goes is here. Timmy was already waiting, he gets a kill on Sean. Wants to retrieve the bomb, still finds a kill on Julio with the last bit of bullets in his magazine. And now Sports, 1v2 attempt. Chance We've seen him do this before and won the first rounds and he needs to do it now. Otherwise Global is at match point. He's gonna run into Mangos' his aim and he won't get the kill. It is Mangos who wins that 1v1 fight and a 6-3 lead puts Global at match point. One round separates him from the Grand Finals. Comes out. Tim just touching that one. As Global finally moves in for the generator control here on Black Side. Tim with a flash, pop flash, moves in. Ooh, Sean immediately with a headshot to turn onto him. He finds a second on Brev. Sorry, going down. Sean's just gonna rush in. They found the entire team of Global with that, with Ron also counter pushing as. Oh, Taz was still alive. <laughs> Never mind, but they do have all the players shot down now as Sean did, does get the defuse here 6-4, Bangus now needs to win three rounds in a row for them to push it to a third and final map on airplane And Global just needs one more to go on to the grand finals Game on the kill from Sean it's a good way to open up. Also finds another kill here onto Timmy. The rounds are starting good and it looks like Bang was also able to hold that generator control. You see Cyphers come out with a name. It's not gonna hit anyone. It was dangerous moving out into the office. Now moving up. Whew, that wall bang shot came dangerously close and Cyphers actually gonna go through it. Opens the door. Oh, gets a jumping headshot onto Sports. But Julio will get the return frag, but this could open up the map still. Ref now flashed, naded on side two, he's 14 and 7 currently. If he gets shut down by Ron, Ref picks up his nade. And now it's up to Taz, 1v3. Move up, and Ron immediately shuts him down. Won't even allow him to get a single bullet out of that gun. It's 6 to 5 now, Bang was drawing near. This is also the score that I said it was going to get at maximum. So let's see if Bangos can prove me wrong. Push it to a 13th and final round. Cyphus now moving over into the warehouse. No, Ron is just playing long range with a rifle and yeah, Cypher is going to go with a nade spot into the office. Sports is waiting there. He just moved away from that area so he gets away with that. He's now going to repeat. Oh, he actually gets stabbed behind by Timmy. This Julio doesn't give him the proper backup. And with Brav being the second player going in there, we suddenly have office control for Global. Ron though moves in, shots down Brev. He's going to re-secure that. Lots of players in mid. Oh, goes out without any smoke. And he's now going to throw away that one side back over to Global. It's all up to Duke to hold it. Has to get the kills here. Sean is just going to wait. But as soon as they spot Duke, I think they're going for a rotate. Duke plays it close. Has to nail the shot onto Cyphus. They might have heard him scope in. Find Mangles. Good shot from Duke, but he has to run away quickly. And Sean finds Taz in the mid, so it's suddenly a 1v2 for Cyphus. But this is one that he does best. Knows both of the players are here. He's going to wait for that appointment to push out too far. But Sean's just going to play behind the door. This is such a good setup. Because I don't think Cyphus is going to check it. He's going to wait for a pick. Oh, never mind. Sean's already moved up. Too bad. That would have been a very good attempt. Because now Cyphus is going to go in. He's... Actually check in that door, but if Sean was there, he would have definitely gotten that kill. Now moving in, 30 seconds remain. Ooh, he spots the point, man. That could be deadly, because Cyphus is now going to walk around. 
He's gonna get the kill onto Sean. He's gonna pre-fire out to Duke. And he's going to secure that 7-5 win for Global as they move in to the Grand Finals. You just knew that this was going to go down as Cyphus was put in that position. As soon as he spotted Sean there, it was all but done for. A very good first play by Global, winning the maps 7-1, 7-5 in fashion. 7-1 on cannon, 7-5 what we just saw on Black Sand, which means Bang was knocked down to the lower brackets where they'll be facing either Core 7 or Nerd Meagles. So let's see. If that match has been concluded already, so I can tell you what the next match will be, which will also be the lower bracket finals. And it looks like.